Hello, today is Monday in the second week of Lent on our journey to Easter. The gospel today, Jesus says, do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. And it sounds like he's saying two different things, but really he's saying the same thing. You know, he's talking about a final judgment. Because the reality is, is that he also tells us to judge wisely as we move through this world, as we live as his disciples. We need to judge wisely what is the better thing for us to do. Is it to do this or that? Is it to follow that or to go this way? We need to judge not just once a day, but many times during the day as to what will lead us closer to what we are called to be. What Jesus is talking about in the gospel is not that kind of judgment but rather a final judgment, a condemnation. They're bad, they'll always be bad, they'll never get any better. And that kind of judgmentalism is what he tells us to avoid. You know, he tells us to avoid that first for ourselves. You know, there are times that you and I, well, we're flawed human beings. And we have weaknesses, and we have failings that are just a part of our personality. And, you know, I can condemn myself for that, or I can use those things to become a better person, to realize that that's the way I'm drawn, and to pull myself back in a better direction. I remember St. Francis de Sales, who was considered a very gentle, gentle man, but, you know, one of the things that he, he refused to be a leader in his community for a while because he said, I, I, I'm just too harsh and angry. Well, his, his followers didn't see him that way because he recognized that in himself and he wouldn't act out of that. You know, you and I can be judgmental about ourselves and we can change. We can become better. Yeah, we'll always have that tendency, that desire, but we can become better people, and so can others. Lent is a time that we strive to be better. Remember, we marked our foreheads with ashes in the sign of a cross, a plus sign, that we were going to be more. And as we journey through Lent, we're called to do that, to be less judgmental and more loving, to be more compassionate, to be kinder to ourselves and to others. Because in the end, we may not be able to rid ourselves of our weaknesses and faults and failings, but we can grow beyond them. I always think of the pearl. There is an irritant that sand gets into the clamp, and slowly it covers it over to remove the irritant to become something of great value. You know what? All of us are called to be pearls. All of us are called to be that gem of great value that crowns the kingdom of heaven. Have a blessed and holy Lent as we journey to Easter. God bless you.